back. We're out here, ready to load into the next set, which is going to be between Mando, Mando's Galaxy, and Jake from State Farm. So yeah, we're going to be seeing some Min Min Steve, some classic nope. DLC nope, action. That's not what we're Jake is going Bowser for this set. Yep. Maybe, I wonder. I wonder if it's just like a preference if he doesn't like Steve Min Min. Mm -hmm. I think Jake has literally gone all Steve this entire bracket, if I recall correctly. I have never seen Jake play Bowser in my life. He's gone this a little is... bit Bowser. We watched it one time. I'm pretty sure we commented it together. Maybe it was me and Skiff. I'm not too sure, but I remember him playing Bowser in another Get Clipped. Uh, might be a preference thing. I think Bowser is a fantastic choice against Min Min. He's fast. He has big hits. He can ledge trap really, really well to anticipate stuff. He has flame breath to catch tether recovery in case uh, Min Min can't get back all the way. Oh, that oh was my. so smart by Mando right there to just throw out the, the other side as well. Yeah, Min Min, Min Min, one of the only characters that can attack from two sides at once. Well, simultaneously, I guess. But, you know. Well, uh, Jake is struggling to get back onto the stage. This is looking a little bit difficult. I love the delay from Mando uh, before throwing out the next button just to see, hey, what's going to be Jake's next option? For real. And Jake just trying to find his way in, just trying to claw in the best he can. But Mando just, you know, running under Jake every single time on landing and just catching the landing every single time with these F-tilts or F-smashes. You know, they're, they're looking mighty nice clawing the best he can. Um, I'm just going to say that one more time just to make sure everybody in chat heard that joke, Sean. Um, but right now, Mando able to get a bit of stage control, but Jake is still going to be able to land safely back onto the stage. Ooh. And Ooh. GG's. Good games. Fist bump right there coming up from Jake. And gonna be actually, that, that was actually so important to keep the momentum from stacking up for Mando mm -hmm. whatsoever. Yeah, you don't typically see like punishes on tethers like that on the stage. It's usually just like a bit of a timing mix up, but if you're the Bowser on stage, you have no reason not to go for it. Um, but as Jake, or well, excuse me, as Mando, if you're hanging on the ledge against Bowser, that oh is my. also so scary because you could get fire breath uh, in a moment. And Jake looking not too bad with this Bowser, honestly. Looking pretty polished. He's just been ledge trapping really, really effectively as well. Just been waiting for mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, to the four, the four consecutive F tilts to try and catch that ledge get up. Listen, one of them, one of them is gonna happen eventually. Maybe not <laughs> this one, but eventually. but the next one. All right, though. How does Mando land now? No double jumps on deck. Jake not catching the landing that time though. But still back on ledge. Mando's just been a disadvantage for like the last twenty seconds. Oh my! I am not confident that Eftel should be safe on shield like that. That should have been a up smash on reaction ready for Mando. Uh, <laughs> I wonder why Jake has been opting for up tilt more so than other options that might kill a bit sooner. Like, I feel like Flying Slam or uh, Bowser's uh, side B would kill very quickly. It's a frame six option too, so it's incredibly quick and can definitely scoop whiffed, uh, whiff moves really, really nicely. So, or, or if people are just holding shield in general because it is a command grab. Uh, I'm not too sure why, but either way, gonna mean uh, evening it up right there. Yeah, that Florida is gonna be able to catch that jump. Right now, Mando trying to find a bit of space for themselves, um, but Jake, uh, on the contrary, he's looking for that one opening. Mando able to play a little bit of keep away right now and just constantly avoiding each aggressive option. There we go. We see the first side B of the set right here, just catching that landing. And Jake, once again, stuck finding his way and just trying to commit with these full hops right here. Full hop, double jump into Min Min every single time. But because Mando's been swinging first, that's the thing. Mando hasn't been really waiting to be throwing out these arms. Oh, yep. that's going to be game one. That's Bowser Gadget Guarding. And that's also Min Min getting back onto the stage. Because honestly, Min Min really struggles as a character. Fundamentally, a lot of her design has revolved around the concept as if you get her off stage, she should be losing her stock right about now. Because as Min Min, what do you what do you actually do? What do you what do you do? Bowser's right here. You die. What do you do? <laughs> you just die. You press a button, you're stuck in all the sand lag. You, 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 and, and then, and then Bowser just, just follows you all the way. Look, look, is, look at this. Mando faded out after that first fair. I feel like, you know, Mando could maybe attempt to recover high because Jake is already full on committing to an edge guard off stage, mm -hmm. right? So if you just do an air dodge forward, Min Min's air dodge can cast her forward pretty well. And you can grab ledge out of your air dodge in this game as well. Um, so I feel like, I feel like Mando has to mix up the recovery just a little bit more. And I know it's hard as Min Min because her, you know, her aerial drift is not the greatest and recovery isn't also the greatest but if you see someone committing to a full edge guard right there you should try to go high oh that rising up it really looked like it might have been able to confirm into another button uh mando not going to go for anything quite else in that position but 
this is this is exactly why it's a little bit difficult with Bowzu. When I'm getting zoned across the stage, how do I how do I find that opening? It's looking tough right now, but Jake finding that opening finally. Yeah, just needing to land. The thing is, Bowser is also pretty big, so we won't be dying too soon unless he gets caught by like a dragon off stage or something. So he's got a lot of uh, time and a lot of opportunity to find his way back in on Mando, which is exactly what he's doing right now. Yeah, they're both just playing really, really patiently, but catching the high recovery. Ouch. I understand the, the thought from Jake, like, hey, I don't want to be out ledge against Min Min. I'm going to try to land on top of the stage so I can shield as quickly as possible, but not just not going to be able to do that in time. Okay, the grab coming out right there from Mando. Got the dragon on lock as well. Going to be finding that back, though. This is just more damage aiding, Mando right, aiding Mando's lead right now. Ooh, good recovery too with the just the down air to just get back to ledge even faster than before. And we're gonna be seeing Mando just begin this uh, ledge trapping sequence right here, but Jake finding his way in with this up tilt right here. And honestly, I feel like that's the best course of action right there because you gotta stop the bleeding against Min Min as soon as possible. This is a character that can erase your stocks, you know, as, as quick as hell. So you gotta be very, very careful against her. And you gotta make sure that the leads are uh, getting out of hand too quickly. Oh God. He's trying to make it back. Oh my god, this it just, it's just also this. so impressive because Bowser's so big. You can just cover everything. Platform, neutral, get up, <laughs> ledge, anything that you so choose, and sometimes on reaction as well. Uh, and Bowser's <laughs> off of ledge options, sometimes they're a little bit limited too. So Mando is just really executing the game plan, really executing the win condition right about now, but doesn't matter if you can't close out those stocks because... Oh, oh, oh tries to go for it. Gonna be picked off. Good tech right there though for Mando. Just the last hitbox. Going to be coming in so clutch for Jake. And this is still oh, anybody's wow. stock to take. <laughs> what was that down there right there? That was crazy. Jake just really wanting to end this stock off. f -tilt coming out. We're going to see another attempted edge guard. Good stall out by Mando. One thing that you people need to know about Min Min is that if she does uh, an arm off stage, it actually stalls and does like mm -hmm. a little bunny hop for her off stage. So you got to be very careful. If you're going for that full committal edge guard on Min Min, you have to make sure she's exhausted all of her resources first or anticipate maybe a higher recovery or higher stall out. Oh, and again, just Mando keeping Jake out. Jake this time making the approaches a little bit more ambiguous. Has the right idea with that jump in, but ends up getting caught short a little bit too soon on the platform. So I really like a lot of these empty hops from Jake because um, they're really making it like, hey, am I going to go in? Am I not going to go in uh -oh. if I make you win? Oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> you got oh. another another thing you got to be cognizant of off stage against Min Min is those arms because she can still attack and disadvantage against you, especially if you're coming at her horizontally. You know, you, you have to wait for her to exhaust that resource first before going in on her. And uh, you also got to be ready to tech too. <laughs> that, that definitely looked a little bit funny. I think I think the goofy. really I think the funniest part about this is just how long Bowser was getting stuck at this point, because it, it felt like a little bit longer <laughs> than it should have lasted, right? Just look look at this poor guy. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> like, and and the angle you. that you get sent at too because of the lip of PS2, it's a little bit. It's a little bit not fun to get hit by. I have to if say. he did hit that second fair, that would have been the game right there for for Jake. But not going to mm -hmm. get there quite fast enough, unfortunately. Ah, oh, for sure. So going into the next game uh, on a stage like PS2, I feel like that's just like a lot of room for Bowser. It's really big. You're not going to be able to jump in as easily just because of those side plats tended to be more of a hindrance for Jake than they tended to help him out. Oh. Damage. Oh All right, though. Yeah, we've just been seeing, you know, Mando do the same thing every single game. Just try to play as defensively as they can, trying to avoid Jake's approaches because it's clear Jake wants to close the space between uh, him and Mando as quickly as he can every single time, just with the usage of these um, these full hops right here. And Bowser's fast as hell, so he can definitely close that space really, really quickly. Mm -hmm. And the, and the lack of the side platforms are gonna make a, make it a little bit easier for Jake to jump in. He no longer has to worry about being caught halfway. That was a really really good edge guard. They're able to find that stock. Is this gonna? But this could just as easily be the stock as well. But yeah. We're seeing a little bit right here still, managing to find his way back on stage. And now it's Mando, back the one who's on the him. back foot. Oh my God! And getting the hit on the way back as well. That was insanely fast. 
Yeah, really tragic that Jake was not able to find the rest of the multi-hits, but I have not seen backs go forward. I don't think that should have happened like that, but also you have to recognize that Midman doesn't have a lot of buttons in that position that she can quickly go out at a moment's notice. So I really like some of these creative, uh, you know, these creative options from Jake. Yeah, Mando just seems to be getting overwhelmed by the amount of pressure Jake has just been applying. And this is one thing Min Min can struggle with just a little bit, is just finding her way off of her back foot. Because as strong as her advantage is, her disadvantage isn't the greatest. Probably one of the worst in the game, to be honest. Ooh. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> and now Jake looking up three stocks right now. And Mando, this is, every, this is everything you want and more against Min Min, because it gives you so much breathing room, especially against Min Min's quick kills. I like the patience from Jake. I mean, when you three stocks up to one, again, you can just take your sweet old time out of the yeah. corner. Clock's on your favor. Just gotta wait out the opponent. Gotta wait for the minimum to be able to swing her arms a little bit. That megawatt is gonna be able to close out that stock. Excellent. Just getting in there right by Jake, noticing that Mando committing a little too hard to shielding right there. And this is tough because I think Mando knows that one more mess up is gonna be the end of their stock. Ooh, could have gone for back air right there out of the nair. I think it might have hit. I, I am not actually entirely sure that that F tilt uh, was intentional. intentional. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, if you're doing like C stick back and you input your jump a little bit too early, you'll just end up buffering. Uh, you know, you'll oh, just end bye. up buffering an F tilt. These dragon flames have seen sparks of hope for Mando right here. Just trying to make their way back and really, really just using dragon to the best of their ability right here because this could be an even stock if they get the edge guard sequence correctly. Yeah, they're seeing the sparks, but right now they need to be able to turn it into the flames of victory, and they're able to oh, close man. out that stock with a really good edge guarding sequence, really exploiting what makes it so difficult for Bowser to sometimes get back onto the stage, and really making the most out of their own options. Doesn't oh, find no! Oh, <gasps> oh, it's gamer time. Oh god, another grab coming out. <gasps> that could that could have been it. That could have been the whole game. This could still Man, be I'm it. About to make this three stock comeback, Dara. Mando had the great idea with the dash back, but no catch on the landing from Jake. This is still anybody's game. That side B is not going to kill quite yet. Uh, Min Min's quite heavy. Yeah, for real. Uh, oh, that might uh, be it. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be it off the top right there. Jake holding on to that barely oh. after almost a full comeback from Mando. That was terrifying. And that thing, you cannot count Min Min out. Her comeback potential is ridiculous. She's a character who only needs one or two good interactions to really steal those stocks away. That was insane. <sighs> this Bowser well, working nicely for Jake, though. Did not expect it, this bracket, honestly. Didn't Seen it before. expect it either. Um, I mean, I'm all, like, we all really mostly know Jake for, like, Steve primarily, mm -hmm. Mario secondary. I have to say, the choice to go to Bowser is, is pretty solid just because, like, you only need a couple of interactions when you do inevitably jump in. Bowser is able to catch the opponent shielding uh, with his really menacing command grab. But then also, just, like, being able to have his own ground speed. Like, Bowser breaks space a little bit more effectively than some people think. Ooh, this flame breath is huge. Okay, that was really, really smart on Jake right there just to keep the pressure up at ledge. And yeah, Jake looking great this entire set so far. It just looks like Mando has been playing from the back foot this entire time, not really <gasps> finding their stride, not really catching onto these high recoveries uh, from Bowser. Okay, though, I like it. Just retreating as much as they can. They, they know that they have to just put as much space between uh, themselves and Jake as they can. Oh, Jake had a good idea with the forwarder, but now that is a min, -min off stage with no jump. Jake does not choose to commit to a runoff forwarder quite yet. This time, Mando throwing out a hitbox, really making the recovery so ambiguous. Dara, how did he hit that reverse down tilt and tilt? That was insane. That was such a good reaction time and such a tricky input to do uh, when you have to do a quick turnaround like that. Yeah, no, that was just really well played from Jake, but Mando's still going to be able to clean up that stock. And now we are back to completely <laughs> even. Both of them nearing together after staring at each other for a good amount of time. Oh, Mando trying to get that dragon online right there, but just going to be applying this pressure, just finally catching on to these jumps from Jake. We're seeing Mando come alive, just tracking with Jake. Has a good idea with catching the landing there, but you do have to respect some of Min Min's buttons. Jake just going to be empty hopping over and over oh, until man. they bait that jump from Mando. That was just so well played from Jake. I'm just going to jump. I'm going to keep on jumping until you want to meet me in the air, right? Because typically the counter plays like, hey, 
I'm gonna keep full hopping. I'm gonna keep. That's gonna be it. That was so smart by Jake right there to do that. I don't think Mando was expecting that at all. Jake gonna be taking it over. <laughs> Uh, 3-1 over Mando. Really, really convincingly, I might add. This Bowser looked really nice. I think he knows exactly what he wanted this Bowser to do, what function it served. And it, it, honestly, he knew how to play against Min Min really, really well. He, he just called out all of uh, Mando's mistakes right here. Caught on to disadvantage really, really nicely. And That's I don't think the best Mando play. <laughs> did not expect that at all. Because that will kill Min Min, even if she has double jump. You know, her that, that arm ain't long enough to make it back for her back to stage. Yeah. That's the best play in that position. When you're up two stocks to one, and you Ike, and you Krom, and you Gandalf, if any Bowser, if you could be DDD, whatever, you can you can just kind of go through those kinds of kills because like, hey, even if I lose my stock first, it doesn't matter. I know your recovery is bad enough to the point that you can't make it back onto the stage. I can just clean this game up with a single neutral interaction. So it's just something that you'd be always mindful of if you are a character that doesn't have an amazing recovery. This is not something that, for instance, Villager needs to worry about, or perhaps uh, Pikachu, because typically, as long as they have that double jump, they can just double jump, up B, and they're good to go. They don't yeah, have to worry her. about that at all. Now, winning the Minimin, shake my hand. You got, you got a limited toolkit to be working with there. But yeah, that, that, was, that was a... Oh, that was a set. That was the first set I think Jake went solo Bowser for the entire tournament. I think it's mm -hmm. more of a counterpick character. Jake has three characters he tends to pick around. Steve, Mario, and Bowser's probably his least picked one. 